I am Alok and you are watching Alok Sen YouTube channel. Lena will tell the rest. Thor, Love and Thunder, Review, How Taika Waititi Ruined the Fun Himbo Avenger. With a rock and roll soundtrack and a bevy of beloved stars, Thor, Love and Thunder seemed poised to be a victory lap for Taika Waititi. After Helmer Allen Taylor's Thor, The Dark World went over like a wet fart in 2013, this charismatic writer-director actor not only rebranded the titular God of Thunder into an adorkable himbo for Thor, Ragnarok but also cast himself as the lovable rock creature Korg. Waititi also introduced thirst trapping to the MCU by way of a strapped Valkyrie, a naked Hulk, and a long-established sex symbol, Jeff Goldblum. Fans would likely have been giddy for more of the same in Waititi's follow-up. But while a bunch of the characters we've loved return for this fourth installment, the thrill is gone. Thor. Love and Thunder is a mess that can't make sense of what matters. Movies. Thor. Love and Thunder. Review. How Taika Waititi ruined the fun himbo Avenger. Chris Hemsworth is back, but that's where the good news ends. By Christy Kuchko July 8, 2022. Thor. Love and Thunder. Review. How Taika Waititi ruined the fun himbo Avenger. Greater than movies. With a rock and roll soundtrack and a bevy of beloved stars, Thor, Love and Thunder seemed poised to be a victory lap for Taika Waititi. After Helmer Allen Taylor's Thor, The Dark World went over like a wet fart in 2013, this charismatic writer-director actor not only rebranded the titular God of Thunder into an adorkable himbo for Thor, Ragnarok but also cast himself as the lovable rock creature Korg. Waititi also introduced thirst trapping to the MCU by way of a strapped Valkyrie, a naked Hulk, and a long-established sex symbol, Jeff Goldblum. Fans would likely have been giddy for more of the same in Waititi's follow-up. But while a bunch of the characters we've loved return for this fourth installment, the thrill is gone. Thor, Love and Thunder is a mess that can't make sense of what matters. Co-written by Taika Waititi and Jennifer Caden Robinson, Thor, Love and Thunder picks up with its eponymous Avenger gallivanting around space with the Guardians of the Galaxy, flexing his beefy biceps for good and running from the pain of his long-ago breakup with mortal scientist Drive. Jane Foster, Natalie Portman. That is, until Gore the God Butcher, Christian Bale in Voldemort mode, descends on New Asgard with shadow beasts in tow, kidnapping a handful of Asgardian kitties along the way to kick off his war against the gods. It's tough enough to run into an ex, but Thor is a bit crushed to realize that Jane has gotten a post-split glow-up courtesy of Mjolnir magic. Blonde, buff, and clad in Viking armor, Jane is now known as Mighty Thor, and she can kick all kinds of monster butt. But to bring an end to Gore's vengeance-fueled annihilation of all gods, these exes will have to team up, and bring along some previously established friends, like Court Waititi and King Valkyrie Tessa Thompson. Unfortunately, amid requisite action sequences, introducing new MCU entities, and plentiful flashbacks that doggedly detail the chilly breakdown of Thor and Jane's once piping hot romance, Thor, Love and Thunder doesn't have much time for fan-favorite figures. Both Korg and Valkyrie are awkwardly sidelined to make room for Jane, Thor, and Gore, but even those main storylines feel short-changed. Thanks a lot for watching the whole video. If you like the video, like it and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our Oloxen YouTube channel, I suggest you to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.